In this Blackthorn Pro tutorial, we will create a card game system using Unity and C Sharp. You'll be able to draw cards from a deck, and once played, they'll go into a discard pile. You can also shuffle the discard pile back into the deck. If you want the art, scripts, and effects used in this video, you can simply download the card game pack for free using the link in the description. With that said, let's begin. So first of all, I've got all my cards that are parented to an empty game object called Cards. All the cards are deactivated at the moment, and they have a card c -sharp script attached to them. They also have a Box Collider 2D attached on them. Then we have our deck and our discard piles, with text UI elements on each one to represent how many cards are in each pile. We've also got a draw and a shuffle button. The draw button will of course be in charge of drawing a card from our deck, and the shuffle button will put all the cards from the discard pile back into the deck. We've also got five empty game objects called card slots, which we will use to place the cards at the right positions in our hands. Lastly, we've got a game and Manager object with a game manager C -sharp script attached to it. Let's now open up this script and start coding our card and deck system. So let's start by coding out the draw card mechanic. So I'm going to create a public list of cards that I will call deck. This variable will contain all the cards that we currently have in our deck pile. I'm also going to create a public transform array called card slots. This array will contain all five of our card slots for our hands. Lastly, I will make a public bool array called available card slots. This array will contain bools, so true or false values that will tell us what card slots are available or not. In other words, what card slots already have a card on them. Okay, let's now create a public void function called draw cards. We are making this function public since we will be calling it from our button on click event. First of all, we need to check if our deck actually contains a card to draw. So I will say if deck.count is greater than or equal to one. If so, then we want to retrieve a random card from the deck. So I will make a card variable called random cards that will set equal to deck with an index of random.range between zero and deck.count. Okay, now that we have found the card that we want to draw, we need to place it somewhere in our hands if there is a card slot available. So I will loop through my available card slots array with a for loop. Now we will check if available card slots of index i is equal to true. So if the current slot we are looping through is available, then we will activate our random card by saying random cards .game object .set active true. Now that we have activated the card that we want to draw, let's place it correctly by saying random card .transform .position is equal to card slots with an index of i. Now that we have placed the card at the correct slot position, we will set our available card slots with an index of i to false, since that card slot is now occupied. Next off, we need to of course remove the random card from our deck. So type deck.remove random cards. Once we've drawn one card, we want to stop this function, so I will just type return at the end of my if statements. Let's also update our deck size text. So at the top of my script, I will import the unity engine.ui namespace. Now let's create a public text variable called deck size text. Inside of the update function, I will set deck size text to be equal to our deck.count to string. Let's now save the script and head over back to Unity. So let's select our game manager object, and I'm going to lock the inspector by clicking on this icon up here. Now I will drag and drop all of my cards inside of the deck list. I will also drag and drop all five of my card slots inside of the card slots array, and I will set the available card slots array to have a size of five. And since at the beginning of the game, all of the card slots are available, I will check all five boxes. Finally, let's drag and drop the deck size text into its respective slots. Now we can unlock the inspector and select our draw card button. Let's add a on click event to it, drag and drop the game manager object, and then find the draw card function. If I now press play, you will see that our draw card functionality is working perfectly. Let's now code the ability to play a card, and then it will get placed inside of the discard pile. So let me jump inside of the card C -sharp script. I'm going to create a public bool variable called has been played. As the name suggests, this variable will keep track if this card has been played yet or not. Now I'm going to create the void on mouse down function. Note that you have to spell this function exactly as I did, since this is a function that gets called automatically by Unity each time we click on the cards. In this function, I will check if the card hasn't been played yet, so if has been played equals false. If this is true, then I will move the card up a little bit to show that it has been played, so I will simply increment its transform position by vector3.up multiplied by 5, for example. The card has now been played, so I'll set his has been played variable to true. We also need to modify the available card slots array, since the card slot that has this card is now available. Now there's just one problem, and that's at the moment we don't have any way to know at what index this card was placed in our card slots. So to fix this, I will create a public ins variable called hand index. Now let's quickly go back to our game manager script, and right underneath the place where we activate our random cards, 
we will say randomCard.index is equal to i. That way we now know where this card is placed in our hands. Back to our card script, I will come to the top and create a game manager variable called gm. Then inside of the start function, I will set gm to be equal to find object of type game manager. Now back to our on meltdown function, I will say gm.available card slots with an index of hand index equals true. All right, so then once the card has been played, we want it to go inside of the discard pile after a couple of seconds. So I will invoke a function called move to discard pile after two seconds. Let's now create this void move to discard pile function. I'll quickly jump back to our game manager script and let's create a public list of cards called discard pile. Then back inside of the move to discard pile function in our card script, I will say gm.discardpile.add this. Now that the card has been added to the discard pile, we will deactivate it by saying gameObject.setActive false. Let's go to our game manager to update the discard pile size text to reflect the number of cards in our discard pile. So I will create a public text variable called discard pile size text. And then inside of the update function, I will set the discard pile size text dot text to be equal to discard pile dot count dot to string. Let's now save our script and jump back into Unity. I will quickly grab our game manager and drag and drop the discard pile text into this slot. Now let's press play and test it out. So we can now click our draw button to draw cards and we can click on the cards to play them and then they get trashed into the discard pile. We've got one last thing to do and that's to move all the discarded cards back inside of the deck when we click on this shuffle button. So let's open up our game manager scripts. We're going to create a public void function called shuffle. And now we only want to be able to shuffle it if there is at least one card inside of the discard pile. So I will check if discardpile.count is greater than or equal to 1. If so, then we will loop through our discard pile with a for each loop. So for each card, card in discard pile, I will add that card to our deck by saying deck.add cards. Once all the cards have been added back to our deck, I will come out of the loop and we will clear our discard pile. This just means that we are removing every single card in the discard pile. All right, we are done. There's just one last line of code that we need to add, and that's when we draw a card, we need to make sure that it is playable. So I will type random cards dot has been played equals false. We need to do this because if we draw a card that was in the discard pile, that card has already been played, so we have to reset the has been played bool to false each time we draw a card. Now let's save the script and jump back into Unity. I'm going to select my shuffle button and I will add to it an on click event. Now I will drag and drop my game manager object and then I will search for my shuffle function. Alright, and with that, our basic card and deck system is complete. Okay, we really hope you enjoyed the video. If it was helpful, remember to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss future game dev content. And it's also a massive help for us. All right, see you next week. Cheers.